there was a huge anti-Catholic sentiment in America at the time. And these religious issues don't just occur in Nigeria. He had a problem then because he was Catholic. And the thinking then was that if you're Catholic, you bow to the Vatican because your eternal soul is at risk. So you do not want to upset the Vatican. So you're going to ban birth control. You're going to cut off foreign aid to countries that use birth control. As in how far are you going to take it? And JFK went to the Southern Baptist Conference, essentially into the lion's den. Because don't forget, he was from the north yeah. in America, he's from New England. And he went to the south and to a Baptist conference to tell them that I am not a Catholic presidential candidate. I am the Democratic presidential exactly. candidate who just happens to be Catholic. So just take that off the back burner, off the front burner. So the issue I find with APC is that even Hashem Shatima's speech, the day he was unveiled, it was completely lost in the row about faith bishops. And now we have this Pope issue. What would have been more effective for Governor Lalong as a devout Catholic to just support this Muslim Muslim ticket and give comfort to Catholics, especially those who are worried in the face of abductions of Catholic priests, the killings of Catholic priests. Oh, if Governor Lalang can trust this um, ticket and work with them, then perhaps I can too. That should be the message and none of the rest. Absolutely. Bye. You see, I want us to arrest this Muslim Muslim ticket talk because there are issues. But the sad thing is, the same politicians, and when you bring it up, say, oh, it's a non-issue, forget mm. it, don't talk about it. They are the ones that are going to talk about it. What Governor Lalong did is a dog whistle. He deliberately said this. Because, mm. you see, you talking about being a Catholic does not even come to play in this matter. I'm a man of faith, I'm a man of faith. I believe in those are my convictions. Nobody can kill you for your conviction. You decided to go with the Muslims, nobody can kill you. It's Nigeria people that will decide. And they've got a choice to take from. But not saying that, oh, I went, my people said, okay, they supported me. Mm. I'm a Catholic. I'm not an other of St. Gregory. A Catholic dog whistle. Yeah. And please, I beg them to stop bringing religion or sectarianism into it. Because now what they're doing is, they even brought sect into this matter. Oh, and the Catholic. Pentecostal as well. So they have no nothing to say about it. Pentecostal Salvation of Nigeria, I'm talking. And that's why we keep begging the politicians. It's just like the other person that says, oh, Muslim, Muslim, together, religion does not matter and all of that. The next day, when they were veiling the running mate, they went to bring some bishops there. What was that for? It was uncalled for. Just like the same person that said, oh, it doesn't matter. The next thing was in the church trying to praise the Lord. What was that for? It was uncalled for. We didn't want to talk the issues. But they keep bringing this religion matter into it. What was the need for uh, going to call the Pope and that? No, because you see, some groups supported his decision. And they have a right to support his decision. We are not running a a bully state here that is yeah. okay, you must not. He has every right to support anything he wants to support. Let's not forget that. But for me, the part I don't get is the part that we start to bring religion and religion to say, oh, I'm a Catholic, I'm this and that. Because if you also want to extrapolate, like Zulu said rightly, there are Catholic visions that have been killed. And they have a right to, to voice out based on what is happening to them. As Catholic bishops have been killed, Methodist bishops have been killed. Muslims who have been killed for the sake of balancing. But for me, I would have known, oh, we made a decision, we stood by it. Yes. That's it. I've taken this position. Stick to the point. It's about the campaign. Right. These are the issues we want to campaign on. Not now saying, oh, I'm a prominent person in the Catholic Church. I have X, Y, Z. If the Pope has not done, what is in that? that? <laughs> no, we're not saying, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about the issues. The yeah. issues are so much on ground. Oh, so said we're fine. All right, then, we shall uh, take another story. Well, this story has been trending on social media. Governor Ben Ayadi of Cross River State has come under fire after a video surfaced online showing where his 25 million naira donation to a church was turned down by a bishop. Well, in the video, the governor could be heard saying that he's making the donation on behalf of the people of the state, the state government, his family, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, and the entire judiciary. He then went on to hail the bishop, who then told him to use the money to pay salaries of civil servants in the state. Let's take a look. <laughs> 